Hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. We are working hard on our Labor Day weekend. Brian is set up on the back side of the house. He rounded the corner from the original tall side of the building so he can start working in the corner where the chimney is. So we are trying to get uh, around that chimney. That's a big thorn. <laughs> We're trying to get around that chimney right now. It's kind of one of those big uh, objects in our way, but we can't really move it until we rent our lift. So that's one of the things that we're trying to um, work around is work around that big chimney. And we can see we've got a little canopy set up to kind of mitigate some of the sun because we're having our little bit of uh, dog days of summer right now, 80 degree weather and it's really, really hot in the sun here. So trying to keep cool with that little canopy going on. Also got in-laws visiting, so it's really exciting to have some family seeing the progress of the house and getting a few extra hands for help here. So we are definitely enjoying that, spending some time with family this weekend. Hope you guys are. I just wanna show you guys what things are looking like this weekend, give you a bit of a weekend update on Colorado Mountain Living. Is that a special corner piece? <laughs> yes, we did it so we didn't have to be exact on the on all the, with the pieces going up. Oh, nice. So we can put those up and then put this on after. Okay. So that's the piece that goes in the corner and then it'll just end up covering the edges of the siding. Yeah, so we so just do Mm -hmm. Nail them up and then put that on after. Okay. Cool. One of the tricky things about this setup, getting the all the scaffolding ready, was trying to figure out how to go around that chimney up there. Uh, as you can see, that pump jack is right next to the chimney base, so just barely fit it. Originally, Brian wanted to put this bracket, support bracket, on the other wall over here, but we weren't able to do that with the positioning of this one over here. So, both facing this wall for now, but. Countertop template. Yep. Not a strip. But uh, he ended up putting the bracket up on the eave anyway, so it won't be in the way for putting on the siding on that side. Is that uh, do-it-yourself fairing strips? Yes. Yeah. But you were thinking this morning, that's important. Yeah. So we got to capture this anyway. <laughs> um, Pauline and Derek, uh -huh. they paid like 37000 thousand for their whole kit. For the kit? Okay. Yeah. So... We've got a quote just for the timbers on this piece for 33000 or 35000 Uh-huh. So if we did, if we got a log home kit for the second piece, uh -huh. we'd probably save a bunch of money. Uh-huh. And what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I have to think about that <laughs> before I give an on-camera answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know either, but... Hmm. See how it would tie in and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I'm going to show you guys. Brian picked up a load this morning of our corrugated steel siding. Although it sure doesn't look like much. Mostly because it all stacks nice and flat. So really skinny panels here we'll just be doing. So there's a little bit sticking out here. This kind of looks like tin. But... We are going to put uh, acid agent on it to cause it to rust, and that will add the the aged look that we're looking for. So, if we get down really close right here, you can see how 
thin it is and how stacked it is. I mean, it looks like there's 20 pieces right there in a big stack. So um, these are the longer two by 12 pieces. Uh, looks like we got some two by 14s and then some shorter pieces there. And he also got some edging pieces. That's what that is right there. So that'll be interesting to unpack and see how that starts, how that looks. I'm wondering when Brian's going to want to start on the, the steel siding, if he's going to want to just wrap up the corner that he is on now and then come back to this corner of the siding a little bit later. So uh, maybe we'll finish up that backside first. We'll see. This, might, this could be here for a little while. Now this part of the house is going to be getting the board and batten. So that's more of a vertical alignment of siding compared to just the regular uh, flat siding that we have here. So board and batten is a series of, I think we have 10 inch boards and then uh, we mount those vertically and then you do a three inch strip over the crack of those boards for the look. And I had been working on staining them. They're under wraps here under this tarp. So I have quite a few pieces. Um, let's take a look. Some, some of the shingles right here, but underneath the shingles, we've got, this is the 10 inch board and then the three inch batten, which once you place your two boards side by side, the batten goes over the crack of the two boards to create the look. So these boards are about ready to go. He is going to be doing them on the back side of the house on the opposite wall of the kitchen door right there. One other project that got done this weekend is the lag bolts for the deck. So while we had extra help, Brian and uh, my father-in-law were working on getting these bolts in. So what's tricky about this is that they actually go all the way through to the other side and a hard to reach area <laughs> that had to be opened up with a wide hole saw and Brian had to stick his arm all the way through those holes in order to secure the bolts. So that was a very time intensive project, but definitely something he wanted to get done before moving the scaffolding over to the corner. So he pulled down the scaffolding this morning, moved it over to this corner here. So we could work on the corner area. The other thing we're finding as we're wrapping up the side of the house is that we're getting low on siding boards. So probably have to do another small order to finish at least this side of the house right here. So not a whole lot of siding really required on this small corner because we've got that big window right there. Plus the big window where that is is going to be board and batten. So the rest of the siding we need is just this small space but we do need quite a bit for this side of the house right here. And this is what we have left for siding. Just a few more 12 foot boards and a couple of 16 foot boards. So probably just enough to get through this side right there. So we might have to do another small order, get some more long boards right about here. Okay, so we got 12 boards. We're gonna go right up there, 12 spots until we hit that vent. So, uh, got all those boards cut. Probably gonna wait until we can get that um, chimney off to be able to do the rest of it. So that'll be a come back and do once we get our lift. So a couple little spots to finish up. But get these 12 boards done, then we can move on to the board and the batten. So you can see on the back side of the house, as far as Brian got up here, this is the, he stopped right where he put the transition piece and then the shingles are going to go above that. So the shingle part will be done by lift as well as the staining of the fascia boards up there. Those are not stained as well. So a few more projects for when we rent our lift.
So the piece of siding Brian's putting up now, it's, he, what he's working around is the vent for the natural gas fireplace inside. So the little stove that's, the little red stove inside, that's where that vents to, this little square vent outside. So that piece stays, the chimney above is what goes. Um, so he's just doing a little cutout around that board. You need to take off a sliver? Sliver. Sliver, the old sliver removal. So folks, you saw a little uh, of the weekend action as far as just getting a little bit of that siding done on the corner. But did you catch what Brian said, what he asked me earlier about doing the addition, the phase two of the house, so it's going to go past this kitchen area, the temporary kitchen. He wants to, he's considering doing that log home style. So we have friends right now that are building a log home, very beautiful, um, and they're able to do all of the work themselves as far as the assembly of the logs. So cost comparison wise, that idea of doing the rest of the house in logs would be a fraction of what it would cost to do the rest of the house timber framed out. Because I think what we're going to do for the, the phase two of the house, which is going to go in that direction. So, um, so basically over here, we're going to be attaching on the main body of the house. Because right here, this is just the master bedroom suite. Although we're, it's, a full, it's functioning as a full house right now. But when we build the rest of it, is it possible to merge two styles and can we do that? You know, maybe we can match the stain, but what would it look like to have a log home attached on to a timber frame home? Would that just look totally crazy? What about the logistics of the inside, the wiring and the plumbing and the, all of that? So that's something that we need to consider, but would love to hear some thoughts about that if you guys want to share what you're thinking as far as would that work? Could that work? Could that work as far as building, you know, the last big section of the home being log home? Um, I don't really know how I feel about that. I think it would look confusing on the outside to see two different styles. Might look kind of piecemeal-y. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but when you consider we would probably be hiring out the work, we probably wouldn't do what we did on this phase one where we did every single step ourselves probably not going to happen on phase two I think Brian's ready to not be working every single minute of his life when he comes home from work so I think that um, we would probably pay a company to do the finish work of the timbers and the assembly of the timbers and like sit panels so definitely more higher end more expensive uh, steps for phase two if we did timber frame. If we did log home, we could probably still do the assembly ourselves and save a bunch of time because our friends have basically done their whole home in one summer as far as doing all the logs. So anyway, definitely something to consider. We'd love to hear you guys' input, but also wanted to show you a quick update on the back side of the house, how the siding's coming out. And it'll be exciting to make that turn and start with board and batten to see how that starts to look. Then we'll get the contrast. I don't know if we'll, I think we'll probably do the board and batten and then work our way down with the steel siding to see how that looks. So hope you guys stick with us. We've got a lot of work still to come. You know, it is, summer is ending because I saw some yellow leaves on the trees just now for the first time. So you know fall is right around the corner and sometimes fall here is one month or less so I'm just hoping that we get a more of a prolonged fall and we don't have single digit temperatures in early October like we did last year we're probably going to do the driveway before this everything freezes but we might be looking at hiring that out not sure yet so we're gonna keep you guys up to date on our progress so we'll see you at the next video take care <laughs>